Good morning, YouTube. We are walking the doggy, Mr. Walter, aka Walter White, the baddest puppy in the world. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. Are you gonna go pee? There we go. Beautiful. post office and then work and I think I might be late so I'm gonna try and get there fast to the post office we go put my hair up because it was annoying me oh Let's not forget to lock the doors. Somebody made a comment, you gotta lock your doors in New York? Yeah, you do. People be crazy over here, you don't know what the hell they'll do. It's not like, like when you go to PA or New Jersey, people don't lock their doors, it's mad weird. I, I rolled up uh, a couple weeks ago and, into a parking lot and somebody had their windows open. It was mad funny. But anyway, to the post office we go. So this morning wasn't too bad, only 12 packages. The post office lady seemed to be all right with that. Anyway, off to work now. I'll see you guys soon. So, I just want to let you guys know on Insta there is going to be two giveaways going on. One on Instagram, one on Facebook. So, if you're not following me on Facebook, make sure you go do that. And, um, yeah, it's going to be announced today, so stay tuned. You're not only going to win a plant package, probably roughly about $50 to $60 worth of plants. Also, you're going to win um, a bottle of my Vital Formula, Root Tabs, and S1 Food. So, you're going to win all the cool products that I have. So, I uh, just left work. Sorry, it's kind of a weird angle, but that's where my thing mounts. I got the uh, the pieces I needed for my CO2 problem with the broken regulator. Here's the uh, the speed valve. I made sure it connects. It does. Uh, it says six millimeter on the uh, tube input, so it should, uh, in theory, work. I'm hoping for the best because I don't want to go any more days without CO2. Um, it was quick shipping. I was honestly surprised. I, I thought they were like uh, kind of kidding me when they said, oh yeah, it'll be there in one day. Sure enough, it got here in one day. So um, I'll link them in the description where I got the part from. Um, pretty good service, I have to say. And uh, yeah, not sponsored or anything. I paid for it. So, um, But just listen, when companies provide excellent service, I admire that. I hate companies that don't answer people or you know, like I had a question, I called them up, they answered, they told me what I wanted to know, because I wanted to make sure that everything was going to come in a timely manner, and they were like, yep, sure enough, it did, so, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in a little bit when we're at home putting the CO2 back on, and, uh, I got a live stream in a little bit, because it's Wednesday when I'm recording this, and, uh, what else? I gotta do some tank maintenance tonight after the water changes. I think it's the water changes on why I'm getting a ton of algae in two of the tanks right now. Um, outside of the CO2 being messed up, it might be water changes because I decided I want to see how long I could go without doing water changes. But because I dose so much ferts, I think that's giving me an issue with the uh, blackbeard algae and some other types of algae. So I'm gonna look into that, figure it out, and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right guys, so I'm going to set back up my CO2 uh, regulator here with my solenoid valve. So my solenoid's right here. And um, it's really dark, but let's see if we can get a better light. Okay, so this screws back into here, right? So let's, let's do that. So that solenoid's tight like that, and then I'm going to take this and screw this 
back into here. Now, what I'm going to need to do is use my wrench here, and it's an oversized wrench, overkill for this, but I need to tighten this with the wrench. And basically, I don't really need the speed control valve here because I have speed control valves on every line because this one tank feeds my whole CO2 system. But I'm going to uh, keep it on there just uh, because I like having it. It allows me to, um, if I need to quickly shut off the CO2, um, I can do that and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to tighten it overly tighten because... Um, I'm not sure if that'll snap these pieces, but I'm just going to adjust that so it's back in the position that it should be. That should be right there. And then I'm going to take this and screw it in right like so. This is different than the one that I had. The one that I had was a barbed connector, and this is actually a compression connector. So basically, as soon as you push in the... Uh, the wire or the hose, it'll uh, clamp down on it and keep it nice and secure. I like these better. It's what all the other connectors I use are. So, um, and then this is just gonna be turned here. If I could get it, it's a little tight. Let's see if I can loosen that up a little bit. All right, and there we go. So now that's open. So I'm going to connect this up, and uh, yeah, and see what happens. So I screwed this on. Uh, nothing really to show there. And now I'm going to open up the valve. Hopefully everything goes well here. Let's see. Okay. So I hear there. This isn't completely fastened all the way. So I'm going to turn back the valve real quick and uh, secure this a little bit better and uh, go from there. So give me just a moment. Okay, so I just made some adjustments to that. I'm reading a good PSI there. On uh, Basically, this is how full the tank is, and then this is how much pressure is being released on the line. Uh, it looks like we're good. Actually, it should be a little less, so I'm gonna turn this. This brings down the pressure. Um, operating pressure can vary on your devices, but uh, Right now, 40 is what I keep my, my stuff on. Anywhere between 30 and 40 is usually good. And that's about it. I'm going to go more in depth with the CO2 in the future. It's just like that's a really long video that I have to do and plan it out accordingly because I want to give you guys the proper information. Um, but yeah, so connected it there. That piece is good. I'm going to plug this in and we're going to see. Hopefully it works. Cross your fingers, nothing explodes. And let's crank it open. And you see the pressure drops right there, dropped all the way. So, because now the now the the pressure in the hose should be there. So I'm going to increase this now. And there we go. So now it's shooting the stuff there. Um, I don't see bubbles. Do I see bubbles yet? Not yet. I don't see bubbles just yet. It could take a minute because there's probably water in the lines. Right now, even though there are check valves, water does back up sometimes. So I'm gonna give it a minute for everything to uh, get properly adjusted. I'm gonna increase it slightly. And we should be good to go. On to the live stream, because my people are waiting. I don't know if you can. Discord can get lit. What it devoted to growing them out. So one wall in the, in the basement devoted just to aquascape tanks, and I'll change the aquascapes every couple months. And um, that's kind of my goal, so that way I can demonstrate different things. Make it a closed group, so only certain people can join. It's invite only, right? To our, you have to be a customer. You have to have, to, you have, to have a customer. sperma coming up out everything else is like about to emerge because it's like done with the amount of water in here so I have to uh, I have to trim all this stuff back right now do massive trimming like I got this is supposedly 
um, Poco Steam and Kimberly. But uh, yeah, so I gotta trim all this. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, so I'm gonna trim all this, chop it down. This is what it looks like now. So stay tuned. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna time lapse it, it's a lot of work. I'll just show you guys the actor. Thing needs a little work. Oh, how nice is that? Oh my god, what is that? 